Hi, it's Toby Sampson, the Smoking Oki, driver of the number 12 B USAC CRA Sprint Car. Uh, we're out here Memorial Day weekend, have a little more fun. Uh, 40 lapper, looking forward to that. This will be a good night. Um, I guess you want to know where, where I come from. I'm actually from Moore, Oklahoma. I uh, started racing there at Oklahoma City Fairgrounds in 1987. Ran the old 100 inch cars, raced there for 19 till 1994, moved to Indiana. Spent two years there, went to work for Steve Stapp, got to meet a lot of USAC heroes, guys that I'd always just read about, you know, Poncho Carter, uh, Brad Marble, got to know Brad Marble real good, uh, Johnny Parsons Jr., but just like a kid in a candy store, being a guy from Oklahoma, getting to meet all these people that you read about. Uh, moved to Southern California in 1996, went to work for Clark Drake, finished out the rest of my dream, learned to build race cars, fix race cars. So, been out here in SoCal for 20 years, and got married, had kids, quit driving, just built them, worked on them, had fun with Dan Hilbert for about eight years, and divorce comes along, and you get to do stuff you didn't get to do back in the day, so got to start racing again. Mike Kirby, I worked for Mike Kirby, he bought me an IMCA Modified, ran that for a few years. Uh, team back up with Dan, ran a lightning sprint for a couple of years till that thing about ate my lunch here and then decided I was done and then got a wild hair to build a sprint car with my son Tyler who's 16 now, uh, has autism but he loves racing and I have a daughter Haley and I just wanted to be able to give my kids the chance to see what it was like when I went racing with my dad, never a driver just as an owner but every Friday and Saturday we were going somewhere so to give them the opportunity to see what it was like being around a car with the car and they dig it, they like it so you know, a little bum they're not here tonight they had to go to their moms and go camping but that's good that we uh, okay so you know just we're just out having fun anymore you know all, all of my friends have just been really gracious and good to me and giving me lots of old parts that's not junk but just stuff that they're not going to use and I've actually got a pretty nice race car to just go out and play with and you know, I, I can't thank Jimmy Blakesley enough for giving me a 410 to run and we had his car the Don Blair car and I'm a little big and didn't fit so we we went back to my old jalopy here that I fit in and we painted it up just like the Don Blair car so we're having fun doing it and that's the name of the game anymore is just having fun. All right Toby let's talk about your car. All right, it's actually a 1999 JB Enterprises. It was actually mine and Dan Hilberg's car. Dan drove it, I worked on it. We flipped it at Manzi, killed it, went back to my old Steve Stapp car that, that we did good with, and we wound up selling this car, and it never turned another lap, and it wound up at Blair's, and Jimmy gave me a bunch of stuff from Blair's, so it kind of came back home. But it only had five races on it when it got killed, so it's not wore out, it's just been fixed. And, Pretty fun car to drive. Not the, not the latest and greatest, but uh, what we're doing. GB, oh, it's a GB head 410 motor that Jimmy built. It's actually running pretty good now. We got it, got it dialed in. So was was hoping to do good tonight and not have to run a B, but it looks like with the car count, we don't have to worry about running a B. So we'll go 40 laps. So really would really love to see him do a 50 lapper because most people walk by this thing they see I've got the old 41 gallon fuel cell on it and the only guy in the pits with a 41 gallon fuel cell so let's run them 50 and see who's left at the end that would be that would be good that would be good it's when, when I put it together the actual only parts that I bought was I think a brake rotor and caliper and some nuts and bolts and everything else everybody gave me parts and pieces so that's what I say it's just been been a blessing with all the guys that I've fixed cars for all these years and you know just you know pay it forward turn it around help me out you know they all know Tyler and uh, so it was it was a good deal to build a car in two weeks and go racing and you know, most people see the interview and know that you know they could tell I was a little bit excited and you know, the, only, the only sad part was I was sick then and didn't know it and you know just about waited too long to go to the doctor and found out I had hundreds of pulmonary embolisms in both lungs and walked in pretty much knocking on the door and they kept me for a week and that's why I didn't get to race much in 2014 it's, uh, it's not worth coming out here getting hurt when you're on blood thinner so to get another another second chance to come back and play some more you know I'm good so just gonna get through this year with the 410 I can knock that off my list say I ran 410 for a year and probably gonna tone it back after this year I've got my old 100 inch car, I've got my dad's old 100 inch car in the house, I want to get them restored and 
as long as I'm playing with this, I can't pay for parts to put two old cars together. So uh, the sponsors we got helping us out are H and H Flathead, where Timmy's employed. Uh, of course, Don Blair Racing, uh, a lot of Don Blair parts, Don Blair Motor, uh, House of Stainless, where I'm employed. Boss stand did me pretty good. Uh, I got my buddy Stephen Holland from Texas. That's a Chili Bowl friend. Met at the Chili Bowl. Got to where we hang out, camp, drink a lot of beer. He decided he was going to help me. Uh, Steve Snar photos by Snarzy. Steve sent me a little bit and helped me out, which was cool. You know, and I consider all the photographers my sponsors because I, I hang with them and they all keep me keep me in pictures. So it's all good. But for the most part, I do pretty much all of it out of pocket. You know, so that's why I just pick and choose. Mainly run here in Paris. Went to Ventura. I'm gonna to try to hit the second Santa Maria. That'd be that'd be a good season for me. And if we want to contact you, how do we do that? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Toby Sampson. Or, and then there's also an Okie Race Cars page. That that's my deal too, but I don't ever look at it anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be good. So if you haven't been out here, get on out here and see some good racing. It's be what a good you, night. What do you think of Paris Auto Speedway? Oh, I love this place. You know, it's it's. One of the best facilities I've ever been to. You know, you can't ask for a better promoter and Donnie and everybody that works here is good to us. So, Scott, I love Scott Delosio too. You know, I got to work on the tower with him when I was officiating for the Lightning Sprint. So, you know, it's just, it's just a good, reminds me of home. It's my second home now since I've been out here for 20 years. So, I've got another four more years here and then I get to move back home to Oklahoma. So, I'm ready. Of course, everybody in California says I'm crazy because we have tornadoes, but hey, you know what? Them babies are coming. <laughs>